Today I want to share some tips on how to make your Notion pages more aesthetically pleasing. Because let's face it, the more personalized and visually appealing your pages are, the more enjoyable and effective they become. I'm going to show you some tips that I apply to every page in my Notion dashboard. First things first, let's talk about styling your pages. This is one of the easiest ways to make your template look nice. You can experiment with different layouts, font sizes and widths. Not many people use, utilize the full width option, but it can make a significant difference in the visual appeal of your page. Replace generic icons with personalized ones from website like Icons 8 or Flat Icon. Icons add a clean and unique touch to your pages, making them more aesthetic. Try to stick to one style to make everything more cohesive. I set an icon to every page in my template. Normally I use dark gray icons, but I'll show you how to download more interesting icons from a website. This is flat icon. You can download many different designs for free. After the icon is on your device, simply add it to a page. Organize your content using dividers. They provide structure and clarity to your pages, making them easier to navigate. Place dividers strategically to separate different sections and databases, enhancing overall organization. By creating multiple block stacks, you can control the layout and presentation of your information, databases, and everything else. And this way you prevent clutter and you improve readability. Here I'll show you how to split your template into two columns. Simply add this element to a page and then drag and drop the different blocks into it. I usually use two or four columns depending on which device I'm optimizing the template for. One way to make your template instantly look nice is to use a distinct color theme for your pages. Assigning different colors to each page not only adds visual interest, but also helps differentiate between them. The simple customization can significantly enhance the overall look and feel of your workspace. To make the covers, I usually use Canva and just simply match it to the theme that you chose, download it and import as a cover to the page. If you don't want to do this, there are also many, many covers that you can import straight from, from Notion. Um, they have integrations with websites like Unsplash, so you have access to a lot of different aesthetic backgrounds. Instead of using a text block, you can use callouts and quotes for titles and subtitles. They offer a fresh alternative and contribute to a cleaner, more modern aesthetic. Plus, you can use icons, which makes everything look better. Take advantage of Notion's embedding options. Whether it's embedding tweets, Google Maps, or videos, embedding adds dynamic content to your pages, enriching the user experience and the overall aesthetic. You can explore different widgets and extensions like Notion Themes and Indify to further customize your workspace. And these tools provide additional functionality um, and they are mostly free to use. You can create your own widgets online and I'll make sure to leave my favorite websites in the description. To add a new widget, I often use Indify and here we're gonna create a new, uh, a new quotes widget. Once it generates, you can customize the colors and uh, all kinds of things. Then you can copy the link, go back to your Notion template and simply embed it. Customization is key to creating a Notion workspace that reflects your style. If you're interested in my Notion Live dashboard, I will leave a link in the description. You'll also find all of my free templates and digital planning resources there. See you next time!